shocker once I start changing my hair I'm always switching it up I did film myself doing this so it will be up after this video but once this package came in the mail I knew this one needed to go up before that one so I told my mom when I saw this on Carly Bybell's Instagram that I needed something from this collection that she collabed with Il Maquillage so right here I have the Moonstruck palette in medium and then I don't know what else my mom got me in here. So we're gonna open it up together. So I'm really, oh, the packaging already is stunning. Let me show you. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. Wow. This is something that I'd save for my beauty room because it's so stunning. Look at this, you guys. Packaging is incredible. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I don't, I can't get enough already. Okay, let me open it up. So we pull this. Oh my God. Wow, that's my mom. Got me the whole collection. Wow. Look at this. This is stunning. Oh my God, you guys. I am so in love right now. You guys. I am so in love right now, like I don't even know what to say. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. Just incredible. So it says, for the people who look up at the stars and wish. I can't wait for you to try my brand new collection. I wanted to create something different than anything out there on the market. I combined my four favorite face products to create the most beautiful palettes for all of you. I also created a brand new lip combination that I've been living in the past year. I hope you all love them as much as I do. Sending so much love and light your way. XOXO Carly Bible. Oh my goodness. I I don't even know what to say that my mom got me the whole collection. Like, mom, if you're watching this, I love you so much. You're incredible. You're the best mom ever. So I did my face. I didn't do bronzer, blush, highlight nothing and I did do blue eyebrows do you guys like them so I just wanted to have a little bit of a base on all right so I'm gonna pull out right here the face shaping palette oh look at this look at this I am a sucker for packaging if you guys have been following me for a while you already know so it says moonstruck medium palette like I said my mom got mine in medium which I think was perfect so it has little star and stellar Gemini and Aries so that's what that looks like I love the fact that it's made in Italy because, I mean, your girl's name is Italian Diva, so the fact that it's made in Italy is incredible. Oh, this palette is stunning. Look at this. Look at the colors. Look at the detail. I'm in love. So we're going to test this out. So I'm going to do the bronzer and the blush. Um, let me cover up my, the mirror so you guys can really see. So. I'm going to use the bronzer, I'm going to use the blush, and then I might dip into this shade for my highlight. So let's get started to test it out together. So I'm just going to use my brush and dip it into the bronzer that picked up a good amount of product. I like that. Oh yeah, that's a really nice color bronzer. See now, I am the type of person that I am between like a warm and a cool, like I mix the whole Anastasia palette together for the bronzer, but I love a more warm bronzer. I always have and always will, and this is like what I like. And I'm also going to use some of the bronzer in my crease for an eyeshadow. Oh, I love the color of that bronzer. Like I said, I'm such a person that loves a more warm bronzer, but I also like a very pigmented bronzer as well. So I'm just going to come in with my brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit. This is just a regular like uh, powder brush and I'm just going to kind of dab over that just to kind of blend out any excess product um, that can be wiped away. I am going to come in with my setting powder. This one is just the Patrick Star by MAC. I've had this for so long in a damp beauty sponge. 
and I'm just going to carve it out just a little bit because this is what I would normally do with my face routine. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with Aries, and that is the blush, this really pretty, like, mauve pink color. Love a blush. And I'm just going to apply that. And oh my god, this is like the perfect everyday blush. I love this blush color. So for the highlighter, I think I want to come in with Instellar. So we'll see how this looks. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is Instellar, I believe, by the way it looks like on the packaging right here. Um, and then I might add some of this little star on top. So I'm just going to dip into this. Oh yeah, just like, that looks like that nice, healthy glow. But I want to add a little bit more pop. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. Do you guys see how really, like, natural this is? I'm just applying it everywhere that I highlight, and then I'm going to come in with a little star. Just to add on top. Yes, okay. A little on the cupid's bow. Don't forget the cupid's bow. And then I put it above both eyebrow arches. And a little on the chin, because why not? The brushes, you guys. Don't even come at me. I forgot those brushes in this collection. So you know what? That's fine. We're going to use them. So this is the powder brush. I got this packaging now. And it's so soft. And then we have the blush and contour. Can you believe that? What is wrong with me? Let's just dip back into a little bit of the bronzer. Just to add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And let's do it over here. This is a very pigmented bronzer. So I'm telling you, it might not look like I picked up a lot of bronzer. But it's pigmented, honey. It is pigmented. And I'm not even going to, I'm going to wipe it off on my hand just a little bit. And come in with that blush. Which is also very pigmented. Wow, th this brush is really nice. I can't believe I forgot that there was brushes. And I'm going to take the powder brush, dip into a little star, and just add a little bit. I know we don't use powder brushes like this for highlighter, but I want to use the brush. And it picked up the product really good, too. Bam! Okay, we finally used the brushes. And let me just show you guys up close. Look at this brush. I love the detail. I love the blue and gold. I love the gold right here. This brush is so... You can tell when a brush is really great, like high-end quality. I mean, I have one in here that I've had for so long. It's holding up pretty well. But I think I got it off of like eBay. And like just the bristles, they're definitely a lot firmer. And remember, I got that when I first started makeup. And I still have it for like, oh my god, it's a clean brush. Let me just use it to add a little black or something like that. But you can tell when a brush is great high quality. And these two brushes are. And I just I just love the way that they look. Like Carly Bybel times Il Maquillage. Love it. Love it. I can't believe I forgot there was brushes. Please don't come at me in the comments about it. Okay, let's set the face. So I wiped off my brush a little bit. That is the powder brush that had the highlighter. And I'm just brushing away that powder. Now I'm going to come in with my setting spray. Use whatever setting spray you want. This one's just the Morphe Times Jeffrey. It's one of my favorites. How do we like it, you guys? How do we like it? Love it. I think for me, first of all, the quality, the pigmentation, um, the way this packaging is, um, is just incredible to me. And if you got this, I can't wait for you to try it out. Um, this palette is just incredible. And even when I run out of it, this is something that I will save in my makeup room on the shelf because it's just so beautiful in the packaging and I am just all about that as you guys know. So I'm also going to use the face palette for my eyes. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and dip into that bronzer shade and I love that you can use face palettes for your eyes too. So I already prepped my eyes with a little bit of concealer and I'm just applying the bronzer into the crease for some depth and some dimension. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see a little better. So now I'm going to take little star and put that on my lid and my brow bone and in the inner corner. Coming back in with a little bronzer. 
right, so I'm gonna put my lashes on and I'll come right back and we'll do the lips. Okay, you guys, so I did my eyeliner, you know, a nice thick wing, and I also put on my eyelashes. So now we're gonna dip into the lip liners and the lipsticks. So we have two lip liners right here. Once again, packaging, incredible. We have AI and we have Luna. Um, I wanna use AI because she said she named that one after her dad so I really want to use that one and then for the lipsticks hold on let me try to pull them out with my long nails we have Taurus and Libra so let's open these up I know I want to use AI but I'm not sure which lipstick I want to use with it so let me open up both liners just so I can show you do a little color swatch oh my god love the lip liner packaging too so this one right here is Luna love the packaging let me do a little swatch. So here is Luna. Absolutely love that color. And here is AI, which is the color we're going to use today. Here's AI. So these are the two colors. And this is like totally up my alley because I wear one of these colors like every day by Dragon Beauty. And I also have one. It's kind of similar. You know how lip liners, they all kind of have like the same look. These ones are really pretty. I love like the tone of them. But what I'm saying is I do use a darker lip liner, the one I have from Dragon Beauty. And I also have a lighter one from Dragon Beauty. So I'm going to use the lighter one, but I love the tone. And I feel like this is really going to match my complexion really well. So we're going to use AI today though, but this color is definitely going to be a go-to. Like both of these. Like I might have to go on the website to see if they still have the lip products because I know she said once they sell out, that's it. Like it's never coming back and when I love a lip product I need it and I just ripped the box oh my god all right so I'm opening up Libra oh packaging guys look gorgeous and I love the detail of the little stars do you guys see that on the lipstick so this one right here is Libra which we might use with AI. So right here is Libra up top. And that felt so creamy when I put that on the back of my hand. Love a creamy lipstick. So open up Taurus. Once again, same great packaging and also nice detail. Don't mind, I have some eyeliner on my hand. Nice, great detail. So let me swatch this one. Oh, I think we're gonna use this. Oh, I don't know. We might use Libra for this look and right here here's Taurus right next to Libra loving okay so let's do AI so we're gonna put this on line our lips first of all very creamy the color is extremely pigmented I don't like a lip liner that you have to like go over it and over it and over it just to get it pigmented like I like one that's already right there and amazing and this is it and I do overdraw my lips I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit love this color okay and what what color did I say we were gonna go in with I think we're gonna go in with Libra for the lip shade mm, extremely whoa that was one swipe on the lower bottom of my lip and I packed like patted it together Wow, I'm gonna put a little bit just on because I want to because I'm excited but I could really do one little swipe and I'd be good Oh my god, like is this my new lip combo? I need to go on the website Okay, so the full collection all seven products 149 South Star, which is the trio set. It looks like it comes with one Lipstick a lip liner and the face palette is 79 um, The North Star which comes with the other lipstick and lip liner and the face palette um, you can have the co-star sets which is the two lipsticks and two lip liners for $66 the moonstruck palette which is the face shaping palette um, which comes in light medium and dark so there's a wide variety for different complexions um, it's $54 the Libra color is 22 the Taurus color is 22 the lip liner is 17 and the other lip liner is 17 the blush and contour brush is 41 and the powder brush is 42 so I might have to go on there and maybe buy another lip, like another lipstick and lip liner um, because right here to be honest with you this is right up my alley these are the colors that I like to use on a daily basis I feel like I get very 
set on something and I use it constantly. I used to be the type of person that would do so many different colors on my lips, but I like to save that for my eyes now and really keep my lip neutral. And th this two lip liners and two lipsticks, these are the colors that I like to use on a daily. And like I said, it's just something about these colors that are just really amazing and I love the, the way they look and I love the creaminess and I love the pigmentation like that is what you need in a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm so excited that this package came in the mail today. I was able to come on here, film it for you guys, do a little first impressions, try the products out together and just hang out and talk all about makeup which for us makeup lovers that's what we love most right just to talk about makeup. So I'm really really happy with how this look turned out. I love the fact that you can use the face palette for your eyes as well. Yes, I did my eyeliner a little thick. Some days I like thick liner, some days I like thin, some days I like no liner. But you could even use the blush to add a little bit of a pink tone to your eyes. I love the way just the bronzer and that light shimmer shade little star looked on my eyes. It kind of, you know, goes good with my blue eyebrows, right? Um, love the color of the bronzer. I'm very particular about my bronzer and I really love the way that this looks. Um, love the color of the blush. Love the highlighters. I'm telling you, if you just want the face palette alone, it's incredible. It has everything you need in that one palette. As for the lipsticks, love, love, love how creamy they are. Like, and I love how matte it is, but it's still creamy and hydrating. I don't like a matte lipstick that is really, really drying to my lips. And you can see how drying it is when you have it on. It's like your lips look like crusty dusty and we don't want that when we're doing our makeup and wearing a matte like lipstick this one it's still creamy and feels very hydrating to the lips while portraying and giving off a matte effect as for the lip liner like i said i don't like a lip liner that isn't pigmented from the jump and this one both of them were incredible i didn't have to work hard to get it pigmented they glided across my lips and really worked fantastic and felt amazing. As for the brushes, as a makeup artist, makeup enthusiasts, makeup lovers, people that like to play with makeup, you all know how amazing it is to have a really good quality makeup brush. We've all been there, especially in the beginning of my journey, where I would just buy cheaper brushes and it would show. They would shed, they would get everywhere, they weren't helping me blend the right way. When you have a really great quality brush, it truly makes a difference. And I know everybody says it, if you have the money, spend the money on a higher quality product. And I say that for brushes as well. I still have brushes from 2013 when my first time ever going to iMats. They were Sigma brushes and I still have them and they're still an amazing quality. They were close to like $300 for the set. And that was probably the most expensive brushes I've ever bought. And I'm telling you, they've lasted me from 2013 all the way to 2021. If you take really good care of them, you clean them good, like you really take good care of your brushes, they will last you a long time. But I'm telling you too, if you didn't have the money for brushes, this brush right here is by e.l.f. It's the blush brush. It works just as good. Um, but if you want to spend a little bit more money on a high quality brush, these brushes right here are incredible. High quality, soft, and beautiful. So if you guys enjoyed this review, first impressions, hang out with me, give this video a big thumbs up. If you got this, if you got any product in this collection or the whole collection, comment down below and let me know what you thought of this because I am loving it. So I'll see you all in my next video, which will be my blue hair dye video. Um, Red didn't last me long, but blue is going to stay for a little bit because my son is obsessed, and so am I. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.